Welcome to Teach T Boxing in association with IFL TV and Macklin's Gym Marbella. Here with me I have Australian champion, light heavyweight champion Kerry Foley. Thanks for joining us, Kerry. My pleasure. So, first time we've seen you since uh, winning the title. How's uh, life as a, an Aussie champion treating you? <laughs> um, it's not much different, mate, except for I've got the belt now. So. Are we, uh, we carrying that gym. around with you all the time? Or is <laughs> no, my name's not Ben Warburton. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, how um, how did you feel that fight went with with Malavai? Um, yeah, man, I was real happy with it. You know, um, preparation was good. Uh, you know, I was I was out of the ring for fifteen months, so it was a good tough fight to have back. Um, you know, I did everything right, and you know, even surprised myself jumping in the ring. Boxed really well. Absolutely, it was a new um, new side to you, really. Just um, outboxing, like I say, I don't think many people expected that. Yeah. Um, we're we gonna see more of that. Is that something we've been working on? Uh, definitely, yeah, with my trainers, definitely the way that we approach things now. Um, you know, everyone knows that I can hit hard and to get to the next level, you've you got to bring something else, you know, and that's we're trying to work on the, we're having a bit more style, you know. I've seen, how is, how is training going in, in general? Uh, always hard, man, especially with Adam. Um, you know, getting my fitness up and just doing heaps of sparring and stuff, so I've been travelling out to Penrith actually to get the rounds in, so it's just full time, you know. Have you been getting any? Um, obviously, first lefty fought for for a while since since Berridge. Yeah. What are your thoughts on on that, and, and how are you feeling about fighting yourself for? <laughs> um, you know, it's just something you got to do. Um, yeah, the first, first first few sessions, mate, were pretty shocking. But um, get, I'm getting there now. Get my, my, it's all about footwork and timing, you know. So it's it's coming together. I've got some um, got some good help, and I've got a good uh, part, sparring partner, you know. So come the day, you know, I'll be. I'll be right. I've seen, have you watched much of of KC in in preparation for this fight? Been watching clips on. on uh, yeah, of course. I've watched. What, I've seen what I needed to. You know, I know, I know what I got to do. Um, I've seen his fights. I've seen his wins. I've seen his losses. Um, and you know, I know, I know my game plan. And he's been in some real tough fights. Obviously, been in with um, you know, Damian Hooper and yep. a few unbeaten fighters in his last in his last few fights. So he's had a tough road. Do you think that's going to take its toll when he comes in against you know, a hard puncher like yourself? I think he's. <laughs> He's pretty weathered anyway, isn't he? But he's a tough fighter. He's going to stand there. He's going to want to fight. Um, apparently, he's got a bit of bad blood. I've never even had a conversation with the guy, but I think it's because he lost to me all those years ago. Um, it's really hurt him inside. So he's going to come out to, to hurt me, and good on him, you know? I definitely hit a lot harder than him. <laughs> and that was, that was early in your career, that fight. Um, yeah. can, you, can you remember it? That was what, your second, second fight? It was my second. I know it was my second profile. I don't remember from what I've been told, man. It was a very, very long time ago. <laughs> All right, and then and say so looking around um, at the rest of Australia, um, looking past this fight, obviously you don't want to take anything for granted, obviously. But you got people like Damien Hooper, Trent Broadhurst, even Sacco B. Because last fight was at light heavyweight. Mm. Anyone you got your eye on in the near future? Uh, just pretty much the two that you mentioned immediately, um, Hooper and Broadhurst. You know the two standouts in the Australian division at the moment, so definitely love to have a crack with them. And I think they'd love to have a crack with me as well, to be honest. Yeah, definitely. I think all those fights would mm. uh, would sell well. Um, and in terms of looking at the belts, obviously you've got the Aussie title. Looking further yeah. ahead than that, have you got any plans to align with any boards or any idea about moving up the rankings at the moment, or are you just taking each fight as it comes? Um, t well, to be honest, I don't think my contract's two uh, Aussie title defenses first before we go anywhere. So. Trying to not look ahead. Um, everyone, obviously, I've got a big game plan uh, where I want to be. Um, you know, PBAs and world titles. But next two fights are the most important at the moment. So just thinking about them. Absolutely. And this fight is obviously August eighth, North Sydney Leagues Club. Obviously, if you're in uh, if you're in Sydney, get down to the fight. Details will be in the bio below. It can also be streamed live on epicenter.tv. Any uh, final thoughts? Carry any message for uh, for your opponents or, or obviously fans out there. Yeah, just calling anyone from the Northern Beaches. This is my first fight um, on home soil for a very long time. Um, you know, the, the title lives here on the beaches, so get your ass down there and, and come support me. Nice one. Thanks for your time, Kerry. Thank you, mate.